going on everyone? This is Dustin Stelzer with Electrician U and today I have another tool to talk about. Not really a tool, more of like a storage solution. Um, but this is a 37 inch job box from Husky. It's a, a portable job box so to speak. Um, I don't know that I would really call this thing a job box because most people when you think of a job box you think of the big metal enclosures, the steel tops and they have locks that are in them so that you can't cut the locks. They're like embedded inside. They're meant to be left on a job. You can put all your stuff in it, all your tools, chain it to something, and you don't have to worry about any of your tools getting stolen. Um, this is more like a portable come take my tools kind of box. <laughs> so uh, while you could chain this to something, I mean, somebody could just hack it off with a sawzall and take all your tools away. It's even got wheels, so it's kind of like inviting, hey, take me. Um, so I don't know that I would use this as a job box. Uh, maybe that's not what they meant when they were marketing this. Maybe they're saying like this is a box you can bring all your stuff onto a job and then you can leave with all of your stuff on a job. Um, but I would just call this more like a storage box or a material box. It's huge. It's 37 inches. It's really deep. So I've been using it to put materials in. I can take like boxes and containers of stuff and put it in there. Uh, look at how deep it is. You know, I mean like it's up above my knee. So you can fit a lot of stuff in it. Um, what I like about the design of it is that these clasps are really heavy duty. So I mean, I feel like this thing's not just gonna accidentally come open in the back of your truck if it tips over. Um, everything's gonna stay shut. I like that they're inside. They don't stick out, so they're not gonna catch on stuff and rip off. Um, the one thing that I don't like about the clasping is this little piece of metal right here is not perfectly straight. Um, sometimes it's like off to the side. So if you see, I've already kinked this thing because I just, I tried to slam it shut and it didn't line up. I had to bend this thing back to get it to go through. So it's just kind of weak and chintzy. Um, not a very good design. And these things are so, like you can see, I've I kinked it right there. It's not like solid steel or anything like that. So they bend pretty easily. Um, they've got a hole inside each one. So um, if you wanted to make sure that they stayed shut, you could put a lock in there. You could stick a piece of wire, twist the wire so that they don't just come unclasped. But I haven't had that problem with them yet. Um, if you notice on the front, there's a lock. So it comes with two keys. Um, not like an industrial strength lock by any means. Again, this is plastic, so like if you really wanted to get in here and steal somebody's shit, you just take a sawzall and cut it open. So again, it's kind of like built with the idea of it being a job box, but it's really not industrial strength, so I wouldn't trust that at all. Um, the lock seems to work fine, but you know, it's just this little metal piece in there that um, grabs onto plastic, so it can be cut pretty easily. Um, it does have a, a weatherproof stripping on it. If you see that, it goes all the way around. So if it rains or anything, you're not going to get water inside of here unless this thing starts to warp, which with it being plastic like that, if it doesn't close right, if you've got too much material stacked in there and you're letting it you know, sit on there at crooked or it, like you're, you clasp it crooked at all, you're going to mess the ability for it to seal up. Um, so just, again, like it's not the top highest quality of anything, but it does work. It does serve its purpose pretty well. It's got these little straps on it that are supposed to keep the lid from, from opening. As you can see right here, they problematically just come out on their own. Like they're not held in there very securely. So um, I've had them just come out constantly. They're kind of more of a pain in the ass than anything. And when you open it up, half the time when you open this thing up, um, they're just not on there anymore. So you get like one side that's floppy. I think that that could have probably been a little bit better design, in my opinion. Um, either just leave it off altogether or do something that's a little bit sturdier. Try, you know, something that's a little more rugged because this thing feels rugged. It looks rugged. The wheels on it are, are really rugged. I mean, everything appears to be rugged, but it's almost like the design of it is more rugged than the actual rigidity ruggedity of it um so last thing that's i don't know i guess worth talking about the handle um it makes a huge difference having this handle on here just trying to carry this thing and lift it is enough it's it's really heavy once you get it loaded down because it's so deep you can put a lot of stuff in it 
but having this handle to be able to lift from just makes it a lot easier and I can actually pull this in and out of the back of my van because my van's really low um, using that handle and letting the thing drop so I like the fact that it has a handle on it um, and I like that the handle goes inside of it that it's not you know like sticking out the side to get ripped off or anything like that so um, I think that's pretty much it overall I I'm not going to use this in my vehicle every day um, just because of the space constraints of it. Uh, for those of you that have watched my video in the past for my work van, I built all these shelves and everything in there and then Colton and I were on this job uh, last week and we tried sticking this thing in the back of the van and we couldn't fit it and we had brought this in a different vehicle and we had like the only thing we had was my van and so we had to get this box back. So I ended up taking half my damn shelves out just to shove this thing in there. And then when I looked at it, I was like, holy crap, I have no room. So we're like stacking piles of MC and all kinds of stuff in there. It just takes up a hell of a lot of room. So if you've got a truck, I mean, yeah, this thing would be a great thing to keep all your stuff in. Um, if it gets rained on, you know, it's, it's not gonna get anything on the inside wet, but it is portable and it is easily breakable if you really wanted to get into this so it's not something I would leave in the back of your truck overnight or anything like that with anything um, fancy in it I've had boxes stolen out of the, the back of my truck that didn't have any tools in them they just had materials they had like a whole bunch of GFIs and breakers and ballasts and stuff like that and somebody still stole it they just wanted all the free electrical stuff so um, that's the only thing is the you got to think about where you're gonna use this because it's so large you're probably gonna leave it in the back of your truck often or you're going to leave it in your van often with a lot of stuff in it. Um, if it was smaller, you know, it'd be e it would be easier for you to put less valuable stuff in it. But because it's so large, you're kind of tempted and you want to put more tools and things like that in it. So I would just be cautious where you use these. Um, it's not a flaw in Husky's design or anything. It's just kind of like a pro tip. Um, but otherwise, yeah, I think it's great. If you're like a handyman, if you do general, general contractor, if you do a lot of... Um, even plumbing, you could put a whole bunch of fittings, couplings, things like that in here. Um, I just don't know that I would use it as a tool carrying thing. Even though it has a lock, I wouldn't trust that thing. So uh, I'm going to give it four stars. Uh, I think that it's pretty well designed. It could be designed better. I think that it could be a little bit more rugged. Um, cheap little things like the strap, these clasps um, maybe being a little bit better designed so that when you try to slam it closed, it doesn't break the clasp like I've been bending it. Um, maybe the locking mechanism. It seems to be fine. It's just, again, not really like, it's more for looks, I think, than anything. Um, oh, the other thing that I forgot is there's a tray that comes with this. So one other feature or thing that this, uh, this case came with, um, when you get it originally, it comes with this tray that's inside of it. So I thought that that was kind of cool at first until I started to move it and then tried to close it again. And it doesn't close. Um, it doesn't close in the middle. There's a specific little cutout area here that this thing has to sit in for it to close. And they even cut out some of the, the material up here so that it would close over the handle. To me, I think that's just a, a big missed opportunity. Like in most other boxes that you're going to have something like this in, the tray is slideable. Even if you have toolboxes in the back of your truck, like most of the brands that put trays in them, make them so you can slide across the whole thing. So like, say you've got stuff on this side and you're taking stuff out and you need to move this over to get at the stuff down here, you know, and you want to move it back over and just close the thing, you can't. You have to make sure that this is in this specific space. Um, so I just think that that's kind of silly. I personally don't like putting trays in these. I like to be able to fill this thing up to its max. And with as deep as that thing is, I mean, that's a third of the space in here. So that takes away from a lot of space. Um, so personally, I've just been using this for art supplies, and paint brushes and stuff, just leaving it here in the garage. Um, but again, just kind of like more of kind of a, a gimmicky thing. I don't like calling it that because I don't want to hate on them too much. But um, just not designed with like the full idea of how this would be used in mind. I personally think if they're going to make something like this, they should make it half the depth and make it so that it'll fit everywhere um, inside of here. That way you're not taken away from storage, but you're using it practically how we would actually use it out on the field. Um, nobody's going to stack this box exactly one way just so they can keep this thing in there. And most of the time when you're sliding stuff in here, like 
it's going to get in the way and you're going to be setting this down on stuff and trying to like push down and crush it, you know, on your materials. So I just don't like that. Um, but I'm just not a fan of trays to begin with. So, so I think for my little star system, I'm going to give this four stars. Um, it's not everything that I would want it to be. I think that there's a lot of things that are kind of designed to look really cool and function um, with keywords more than they are like actually rigid and solid and built with uh, end user in mind. So I don't think it's poorly built. You know, I'm not going to give it a three star, but it's also not revolutionizing how I do my work every day. So it doesn't get a five star. So I think four star is pretty fair. So uh, let me know what you guys think. There's a link in the description below. Um, you can go get one of these if you want. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.